season of ISPL. How excited are you about this action? This this is much bigger platform, a better and something you've gained one year experience. Tennis ball cricket is something different. You might have seen a lot of players and you were part of the uh, league last year. So how much are you prepared for this season and uh, what are you looking at in this season? What kind of players are you looking at in this season? That's a very good question. In fact, if you know the size of tennis ball cricket in India is four times bigger than the leather ball cricket. The question is, it was not organized as what leather ball cricket is all about. But because of the IPL, ISPL, at least there is a now a platform where people can come and explore the opportunities the ISPL can create for the players. Uh, as far as excitement is concerned, we are very much excited. And this is season two for us. We played till uh, semi final last year and we made a very good team. And I think our performance last year was amazing. And uh, we didn't qualify for the final, it's fine. Uh, it's a game of cricket, one win, one other loses, but it's, uh, we are very much happy what we have done, achieved last season. But learning from our mistake, little bit mistakes, what we have uh, done last season, probably we want to overcome those mistakes and try to build a team combination this year. And we would like to focus more on all-rounders this year. And because all-rounders are going to play a very critical role in tennis ball cricket. It's a 10-over game and things can change between two or three balls, you know. So I think our strategy is very simple that how we exactly want to uh, take this season. The other excitement for other season is much bigger and larger this time because of Geo Cinema coming in, Star Sport coming in. And uh, the season itself is a 20 days season. And like last season it was just 10 days, uh, each team was playing once. This time we got opportunity to play twice with each team. So we have a option to try our new players also, you know, and even we lose one or two games fine because but previous game, previous season, like you lose one game, you're out of the same finals. So I think this time, I think the ISPL uh, league has done a fantastic job to understand if some sponsors also coming on board, you know, like they also need a longer visibility to be a part of this league. And being 20 days game, I think it's a brilliant story this year. Um, looking at this auction, how much is it a uh, level playing field given that you'll be, you'll, you'll be constructing your squad from the ground up? like? Uh, getting all 16 new players uh, compared to uh, what you had last uh, season in terms of the squad strength. Um, obviously, you have your learnings as well, but does it? do you think it also makes it a level playing field when it comes to the, uh, the auction table, when it uh, comes to the teams competing on the auction table? So, I don't know about other teams, but I can just share some uh, uh, what we as a Chennai Singham has done in the past. I think probably we are the only team who's done a separate uh, trials for the players. You know, in fact, we invited all the players who got the blue tickets can come and uh, do a trial set our ground. And uh, we got almost 80 players who came forward to do a trials. And you will not believe there are certain players who came all the way from Srinagar and Delhi and UP also. And they are fantastic. Uh, these guys are fanta fantastic in terms of uh, their uh, play or game. So this time probably we'll see some new names, you know, like uh, names which have never been uh, seen in tennis cricket. And we might uh, give a chance to those players. Since it's <coughs> Chennai singles, uh, how's been the response from fans? I mean, especially, I mean, you know, we all know Chennai is, is uh, big in cricket and I mean, they have some following, some uh, more than decent, right? So how do you uh, look at that aspect and uh, how are you planning to cash on? So I think we are fortunate to have that name Chennai itself, you know, like, uh, and one of the reasons I wanted to be part, because of the name also, you know, like, and if you see the overall fan engagement, what we have achieved last season, we might lost the game, but the kind of uh, appreciation we got as a team, as a franchisee, you know, I think, and now I know there are many players uh, who want to play for Chennai. You know, like, I don't know why, but uh, they feel that there is a better uh, treatment at our uh, 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 team side. But I, I don't know, most of the other teams also do the same thing, but somehow they want to engage or uh, work with us. And uh, we are definitely going to, create same environment to our player, players. It is not that we want every game to win. It is something which we want that they come as one team, they perform as one team and have that kind of instinct to win. Okay, winning and losing is secondary, but instinct of win and creating one uh, solid team together and perform and give a better, uh, uh, what do you say, excitement to the fans. Hi, sir. Hi. So, uh, last month we saw a 13-year-old Web of Surya Banshi being bought for one uh, more than a million by Rajasthan Royals. 
So do you think uh, now ISPL teams will be under pressure to spend uh, to spend more in this today's auction to get at least a iconic players and how will that uh, the uh, the benchmark that has been set at IPL will that affect the auction dynamics today? So I think there are only six iconic players right now. Yeah. Okay, and uh, most of the team was going to definitely go to retain them. That's my personal uh, opinion. But uh, as far as the new talent is concerned or under 19 is concerned, it is mandatory for each team to have two under 19 players, right? At what value, based on their last year performance, people will bid. You know, I don't know whether they get 6 lakh, 10 lakh, so that's up to their performance last year. And there are many uh, under 19 players uh, last season, they have done a fantastic job, especially with the tape ball. And uh, I know a few players from Mumbai, they might get higher uh, bidding this year. So. I don't think there's a pressure uh, on teams, especially from our side, to have this iconic player. We would like to build a good com combined team, which is a combination of batter, all-rounders and ballers. So that's the one aim I, we have. And apart from that, I don't think there's any kind of a pressure uh, we have. Because ISPL and IPL are two different uh, leagues, and I think uh, this is a very new league. And it will mature more uh, in coming years down the line. And probably we might see more uh, uh, in terms of the purse value, right now it's so one crore. Uh, you might see it may go to two or three crore next year as well. Thank you.